No, we can switch sides. Miller, are you testing my competitive nature? I will flip sides and throw left-handed. Any NFL team that gets Mac Jones is getting a heck of a player. Just a student of the game. Go. His preparation is, is somewhat cool. Cool. fanatic or over the top. How about that beautifully thrown? He plays the game the right way, which is why there's a lot of excitement and why he's also climbing up the charts. I'm always trying to improve my strength, my off the field knowledge, everything that I can every day. 13 and all national championship number 18. Absolute perfection. He has a desire to be great and he knows what it takes to get there. This is about the shift away. Oh, yeah. So let's drop those hips. Your left foot will move first. This on you. Ready, set. Good. With great competitors and uh, people that are really successful, there is a sense of uh, kind of a productive paranoia. Up, 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 here, up. Good job, good job, good job. Nice. It's almost like if you're not doing something, you're not getting better. It's somebody else doing more than me. I think that's what, what Mac has, where it's like, Geez, is, am I doing enough? And well, the thing is, he's probably doing more than enough or too much, but that's just his makeup. That's his mindset. All the way's the only way. There you go. I'm good. Let's You're get good. one more. One more? Let's I can't look at that can't at stop. night, the spiral. No, he didn't. Second time. He said, I won't stop. Throwing, throwing this guy a thousand times. <laughs> one more. You want one, you want one to the left? Yeah, just slip it. Pro day's the next big gig, so I'm just kind of training for that, but also training to become a better player. It's a great opportunity for these guys to come together one last time in front of NFL personnel, uh, front office people and, and staff. To kind of put a stamp on who you are, for people to see you in person, to see your motion up close, to see how the ball spins, uh, to see how you command you know, the guys around you, maybe command the huddle. I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself. I'm just gonna go out there and throw it around with my teammates that I've worked with for the past four years. You know, it's just a different ball. It's an NFL ball and you just go out there and let it rip like I always have. The passing portion of Pro Day is going to be the most important for, for a quarterback. Obviously, a guy that's projected high like Mac is going to get, call it 40 minutes to have a workout and we'll have 60 plus or minus throws. So a typical draft prep week for us is we're going to have the guys throwing three days a week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Everything kind of is built around the throw-in days. And so we'll work out four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. There you go. Let's move with the money. Let's move with it. There you go. Wednesday and Saturday are our regeneration, kind of recovery days. We will run linear three times a week and do kind of lateral movement one time and then hit a little skill lateral movement on an afternoon as well. Typically, we'll wake up and, and get treatment for about 30 minutes and do that around 8 to 8.30. And then we kind of do some movement stuff, whether it's linear or lateral. So kind of work on a little bit of movement, just drills that not even quarterback specific necessarily, just stuff for your body. All right, let's go uh, butterflies. Keep it up there around your shoulders. Oh, that's a good rep, that's a good rep. Then we kind of go out and throw. Usually takes about an hour, hour and a half. Then we'll always come back, you know, eat lunch and things like that, get on the board watch tape, watch NFL tape, watch college tape, watch everything for about two hours. The goal with that is, with Alabama stuff, is for him to be real familiar with every, everything that happens. So we watched every game from his career and the ability for him to recall situations, his interceptions maybe, to recall what happened on uh, you know, that third down play uh, against, against Arkansas. There's a communication aspect that the NFL people want to see. They want to know how well he knows his stuff. Another part of our meeting time, we'll watch our training film. Really just study our feet and study our leverage and study our stroke. Was this the one you were debating on? Did you want to kind yeah. of inside zone left or right? Yeah, this is the one where I... So I did, you, did you, like, you like it to the left? The, la the first one I tried was this. Right. Almost, yeah. I almost want to do like whirl into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm there. Yeah, I kind of like that. One. Like we can call it deep Charlie and Claire. So I'm just getting a little bit deeper. Okay. Three, four, five. Another part of the meeting time is re recall of uh, NFL offense. So we'll do installs of the West Coast offense or the three digit system and challenge them to get familiar with the, these, this language and um, these systems because that's what he's going to be running. And then we're pretty much done for the day. 
But when I go back to my house, I usually take a little bit of time off, but I jump right back on the whiteboard and start drawing plays or watching NFL tape. I just, that's kind of what I do in my free time. Here's Mac, has time, looks for Waddle behind the defense. He'll roll it in, touchdown Alabama! Coming off a big season, a big part of our training process is making sure that we're not overdoing it, having enough rest time during a normal work week. That's it! We're challenging them and we want them to get their work in and they do long days but we, we want to be cognizant of you know how important it is to get great sleep to eat good and wake up and feel regenerated and i think it takes a mature person to understand that sleep is ultimately a habit and kind of muscle memory he's kind of obsessed with it too honestly he understands the balance there and, and just how important rest and recovery is ready set Good job, good job. In a pro day, you want to show different drop styles. So whether that's taking the three step under center, or five step in the gun, or do a whirl action, play action, like things that they do in the NFL. But you always want to hit, you know, short range, medium range, and then the long throw, which is my favorite throw. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to doing that. And I'm not going to try and be Patrick Mahomes or be somebody else, but I am going to show some stuff that a lot of guys aren't going to show, but I guess they'll just have to tune in and watch. <laughs> I don't want to give away too much, but. Face me now, we'll go for Twitch. Just go two of these. Just face me two flips. Yeah. Stay level. Face stays wide. Good. Here you go. Here you go. David's one of the best quarterback coaches in the country in terms of technique and quarterback movement. He, he looks at everything on video. Everything's videoed, so you can see it. He explains how he sees it. Go with your big third step. You're getting good separation right here. It's good. Just every movement, every lift is quarterback specific. So you're totally getting ready for throwing the ball further, which I have been doing these past couple weeks, and my arm looks really strong, probably as strong as it's ever looked. This is uh, a straight big, show off. Big boy ball here. Mm. Ready, set. Great eyes. Right where you want it to go. That was a good route, hey, brother. Training really hard every day, pretty much six days a week. All right, Matt, you good to go? I'm not that tired. Well, the whole point of this is like, it's an accuracy tester, okay? Um, it's kind of an anticipation and it's a body control thing, okay? Today, what we worked on was just a pro day script. So obviously pro day script is a big deal because you want to have organization and you want to get make sure everyone runs their different routes and you get a lot of different looks. Ready, go. Good rep, good rep. But it's kind of his show. So, so the way I look at pro day is, it should be all about Mac and his guys. You know, it's gonna, he's gonna be kind of, he's gonna be out running it. Trey Sean, you're on the right, you have like a, like a dagger, so like think spin, but super deep. Like crease plus. Um, I think that's important. I mean, that's what they want to see. On one, ready, break. Health overall in the NFL is your longevity, and that's kind of what drives everything. There's a lot of cool new recovery methods, ice baths, cryo, hot tub. I do it all, so I just kind of have a plan. Sleep is huge. Like You can do so much recovery and do this needle this or needle that, but at the end of the day, if you go to sleep at around 9 and wake up early, then you're going to be good to go, and you, you can kind of dominate the day. But if you're not sleeping and not hydrating and, and kind of just trying to get by, it's never going to work, and you have to take it as seriously as you ever taken anything. I do love like a good bed in my bed specifically. My sleep number, the IQ app, is awesome. And that's kind of the new world is data and leading up to the national championship game. I was fortunate enough to sleep in my bed and I got the data and each day my sleep got better. This is just one day before the national championship game, January 6th. Um, that was a good sleep score. January 3rd to the 9th, we played on the 11th. So as you can see, my sleep went up pretty good throughout the week. And by Friday, I was feeling really good. I was in bed nine hours. Yeah, after the game, first of all, yeah, we, we had a good time after the game, but uh, we were at the hotel in Miami. I don't have the data for that one. Get to go, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh my God. Pro day coming up. I'll probably look at it and make sure that I'm sleeping good and making sure that the data looks good. All you're gonna do is just kind of move those feet naturally, all right? Yep. David does a great job um, incorporating like all parts of life. I know that sounds weird, but I mean, he talks about the mental game, you know, off the field game, and then obviously when you're in, on the field and, and in the action. I mean, we've talked to Peyton Manning and Eli and Daniel Jones and different guys like that, and that's been really cool just to be able to ask questions. Each guy had a similar topic 
and that the NFL is obviously a different game than college, and it speeds up a little bit, but at the same time, it's 11 on 11. In the NFL, a guy might be open by three inches versus two feet, and maybe he's completely covered, but he's still considered open. It's just where you put the ball, and you gotta work that when you're doing drills. Like, you can't just throw to throw. Like, even some of my throws, I'll have somebody say, hey, right shoulder, left shoulder, so I'm hitting the receiver on that shoulder specifically, because you have to be that accurate in the NFL. Ready, set, eyes up. Go here. Up, up. Ready, set. Eyes up. Here you go. Here, here, here. Bump. Our drill work is meant to do several different things. I'm a believer that you should be able to walk through your mechanics or your feet, your motion. Ready, you should be able to set. do it at ideal pace. And then you should be able to do it in a congested or, or a kind of contested environment. And then worst case. Left. Oh. Right. Oh, fumble. Good job. You never know. Yeah, hey, it's real. <laughs> he throws the ball with a lot of authority. He's precision, whether it be challenging his arm or you know, with, with routes or with pressure or with environment in, in general. He's a guy that likes to be likes to be challenged. Behind the defenders for another touchdown. What a throw. I took a risk technically in coming to Alabama and choosing you know, Alabama because a lot of people said I would never play, but I was willing to accept that challenge. I was gonna go in there and work, and at first I was you know, 170 pounds soaking wet, and then kind of learned from those two guys and Jalen and Tua, and then when my opportunity came, I just got better each time another opportunity came. That's kind of how my mindset is, is be better than your last play. One an incredible story of perseverance and development in Mac Jones. My big thing is add up good days, and then you have great months, and then you have great years. Jones across his body, he's got it! Nice play, Mac Jones. Take it day by day, and when I get to the NFL and get on a team, I'll assess you know, where I want to be in one month, where I want to be in a year, where I want to be in five years. I think an NFL team is getting a pro. When, when you when you draft Mac, a guy that understands the, the responsibility, the opportunity, the honor uh, that it is to play quarterback. Every decision you make matters. What you're thinking matters. What you say and how you say it matters. Do you know your job? Do you know how to prepare? Do you know how to encourage? Do you know how to hold people accountable? All these things are, are what Mac is is really really good at. Hell yeah, appreciate y'all boys, man. I like that, come out and get some work on a Saturday. It's awesome.